Right, so this is the Snapchat Q&A. Um, this one is medicine related, so any questions you've got about medicine, um, you've sent that in on my Snapchat, and I'm gonna be answering them now. Um, if I don't answer all the questions, uh, I'm sorry, but there's there's quite a lot, so like just send it in the next time and I'll try and answer it uh, in the next one. What component of the application does Newcastle Uni put most weight on? Newcastle Uni emphasises um, the UK CAT quite highly, so if you've, if you've got good UK CAT score, then make sure you apply for Newcastle. What's the worst and best part about studying medicine? The worst part is probably the workload because there's just so much work to do. Uh, and there's like, it's just to see how much work you've got to do stresses you out. Like when I see how much work I've got to do, even though I'm working, like there's just so much to do. You just look at it and you get stressed out. So like, that's probably the worst part. The best part is the fact that I enjoy what I'm learning. So like, neuroanatomy was really hard, but it's kind of interesting, like learning about Parkinson's, learning about like the different pathways in the spinal cord and like all of that is it sounds hard but it's it's surprisingly it's interesting as well to learn about so that's probably the best part and you get to be a doctor afterwards as well i mean how that's the best part so someone's starting medicine next year and they're asking what tips can i give to um so they can start off on a good year um the best thing about first year is that it's not too hard so like you can still like relax make friends and and spend time with your friends and stuff so like do whatever you want in your first year but before the exam comes make sure you have like two months at least two months before your exams to prepare for them because uh two months is how much i'd say like how much time i'd say you need to prepare for the exam so just make sure two months before your exam you're ready and you start on your work uh, and the rest of the time you can just chill whatever do whatever you want i mean it's your first year you're not going to get a year like this again so make sure you make the most of it so someone asked what do you need for foundation year foundation year basically look for chemistry a level your gcse's like normally it's a b or a c in maths and english and your sciences um and like they do expect like some background contextual information so for example your your family income has to be a bit low your parents can't have been to uni uh there's other things as well like your area that you live in has to be deprived so things like that you need to but every uni that does foundation year check their criteria on their admission site and um, that will probably help a lot more okay another question do you do any practicals at med school not like clinical skills practicals or like anatomy but um measuring the rate of x on your heart um well we don't do practicals like that because that's more for like pharmacy i think um, they do a lot of practicals, they do a lot of lab work. We just do literally, what all I do is anatomy, clinical skills and lectures. That's and a bit of like um, placements and stuff like that. But what you're saying about like practicals, measuring things and, and the rate of the, the effects on your heart and stuff, we don't do anything like that. Other unis might, but we, uh, we just, we don't unfortunately. <laughs> And how do I know what to learn for med school exams? Well, the thing with med school exams is that unlike your A-levels and GCSEs, all your med school exam content is in the lectures. Now, if, if you've got 100 lectures to get through, then that's all the content that they'll test you on. There might be a little bit extra like anatomy and stuff, but realistically, everything that you need to know is in those lectures. Now, you have to pick out what's most important. The first In my first year, I tried to pick out what's most important and it wasn't that good because you often miss out a lot of the useful information as well. So now this year I'm trying to learn everything in the lectures um, and hopefully like that'll help us get a better mark than, than first year. Did my expectations of medicine match the reality uh, now that I'm in? Uh, you know, before I started medicine, I thought of medicine as like, well, I thought it'd be easier than A-levels realistically because uh, everyone was saying, oh yeah, A-levels are hard. UK CAT is hard and the hardest part is getting into medicine once you're in and it's easy and all of this and that and now I'm in medicine and I'm thinking you know what I feel like I enjoyed A levels more because this is just so hard there's just so much to do and I'm so stressed all the time and it's like oh, there's like I can't find time for other things but maybe that's just me maybe other people think it's easier um, because they haven't got as much going on but 
for me, I think it, I expected it to be easy and it's actually a bit harder than I expected. So someone's asked, how's uni, bro? Uni is very good at the moment. It's very stressful because uh, exam times are like, exams are like three, four weeks away. So I'm a bit stressed out and so are all the medics. Um, the accounting and finance and the business and marketing, they're just chilling. They're still, you know, playing table tennis and FIFA every day, um, watching movies every night. So I'm a bit jealous, but but it's alright. Right. So that's all the questions uh, answered. Luckily, um, there, there were more questions, but a lot of them were repeated, and a lot of them were about my holiday in Turkey. But that's basically the end of this video. Um, I'm a bit tired, as you can tell, uh, because I've just woken up. It's like nine o'clock in the morning and my flatmates are still asleep um, and uh, I need to get on with my revision but that is the end of the video if you want to see an A level 1 then make sure you add my snapchat I'll put my snapchat up there but thanks for watching and bye for now